Today we continue to listen the Four Noble Truths. First, we have to recite Dukkha Sicha Pali. Can you follow me? It means a big away. Jadivi Dokha Jarabi Dokha Maranambi Dokha Soka Paridewa Dokha Domana Subaya Sabi Dokha Abiyehi Sambhyoga Bidokho Biyehi Vibhyoga Bidokho Yambhya Nalavati Dambhidokham Sankhe Dena Inju Bada Nekanda Dogha We recite together Kataminja Vekawe Dogha Riya Sijam Jadivi Dogha Jarabi Dogha Maranambi Dogha Soga Paridewa Dogka Domana Subaya Sabi Dogka Abiye Isam Yoga Bi Dogko Iye Hi Webi Yoga Bi Dogko Yampe Janalabadi Dambi Dokham Sangha Dena Inju Bada Nekanda Dokham Translation, follow me. And what Bhikkhus is the noble truth of suffering? Path is suffering. Aging is suffering. Death is suffering, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and excessive despair are suffering. Association with the dislike is suffering. Separation from the like is suffering. Not to get what one wishes, that also is suffering. <clears throat> In brief, the five aggregates of clinging <coughs> are suffering. So life is dukkha, but is dukkha, but is suffering. Today, aging, jara is suffering. What mean aging? Becoming gray-haired, toothless, wrinkled, bent, deaf, and poor in eyesight. In other words, decay which has set in very recognizably in our aggregates of Nama and Rupa, in our body, in our aggregates of mind and matter of a particular existence. However, aging of Rupa, aging of Nama, aging of mental states, 
aging of nama components of our body is not so apparent for mental states. When we are young, we get angry, we have anger and desire. And that anger and desire not decay. Some getting old and more anger and more desire. But when physically weak, anger, anger not too much, <coughs> anger weaken. So in our aging of our nama components of our body is not so apparent. Indication of this number components, mental states such as failing memory and dotage becomes noticeable, usually to close associates only when we get very old. <clears throat> Some they recognize their children. It is mental aging. Physical aging goes on throughout our life quite unmistakably, but becomes very noticeable only when we advance in age and when we are no longer youthful. Let us see our aging process. The under 10 years old age group <clears throat> does not have the same body as those older than them. And there is continuous change in physical appearance. The above 20s and 30s uh, assume an appearance quite different from that of our younger days. These changes are indication of our aging that is taking place. Here, yeah, aging means decay in the sense of gray, getting gray head, etc., which is clearly uh, discernible. Aging, Jara is concerned with just status moment. of our aggregates on Nama and Ruba, Mind and Meda, and has no a sense of pain or suffering as it is at that status moment, no pain or no suffering. And because of aging, they are occurs feeling of vital force in our body system, impairment of eyesight and hearing, wearing out of the sense of smell and taste, sensorial glands are very weaker and weaker, undermining of physical strength, growing an attractive, an attractiveness and loss of usefulness, loss of memory and intellectual power. Disrespect and 
contempt on the part of the some young people being addressed as old foggy granny etc and treatment as a drag on the society of course this such disability give rise to physical and mental suffering since it forms the source of physical and mental suffering Buddha had said that Jarapi Doka aging is fearful Doka people are really afraid of old age they are forever seeking ways and means of stemming the, the advent of aging but all in vain decay settings unavoidably with gray hair and fallen teeth etc that aging is such a dreadful doka is so plain and we but we have to make some elaboration let alone the facts of old age even that was old age is an unlucky what in our daily life nobody likes aging nobody want to see it nobody want to hear aging and also the reality represented by the what nobody likes to have although nobody likes to have old age everybody has to old age nobody can escape from it because aging is built up in our life so from the moment we get this life we get this jati there is jara aging along with jati <clears throat> to be excess according to abhidhamma the process of aging began from the second sub moment of the first consciousness in our life as you meditate us are very very mindful to find out that kinds of aging every individual characteristics of mind and matter has a beginning middle and end or arising continuation and dissolution <clears throat> so when you study vidama you can you can find the process upada arising or beginning tt heading towards dissolution or existing for a moment and binga dissolution or disappearance so obada titi binga beginning 
heading towards dissolution or existing for a moment and disappearance or dissolution. <clears throat> so in the practice, you try to find in every activity the beginning, the middle and the end or arising, momentary existing or continuation and dissolution. And also instruction is you try to see the breathing in and out of rising and falling, the beginning of the rising, the middle of the rising, and the 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 end of the rising and falling, the beginning of falling, the middle of the falling, at the end of the falling. So every natural characteristics of mental and physical phenomena, you try to be aware, and then you discover the hardness, softness, heat, cold, stiffness, tension, movement, knowing an object, contact, feeling, and so on. All these phenomena has a beginning, middle, and end. So you very, very careful, very mindful to discover these in natural characteristics. So each phenomena has the moments of arising and the moment of continuation and the moment of dissolution. The momentary characteristics of all nama rupa, mind, all psych psychophysical phenomena, that is the characteristics of having a start, middle, and end, is called singata lakana. Here, somebody did us very, very skillful and very meticulous and they can find that sinkata jara aging just for that existing moment they can capture the kinds of uh, sinkata jara that is sinkata lakana <clears throat> so physical and mental phenomena that arise due to condition have a moment of arising, have a moment of uh, continuation, and have a moment of dissolution. These three moments are called Sinkata Lakana. Now when you very, uh, when your mindfulness very a sharp and you can capture the kinds of aging singata jara so the process of aging began from the second sub moment tt of our first consciousness in in our life. And one is once it began, there's no way to stop aging. No way to reverse it, no way to turn it back. It is like a clock or a watch. From the moment you put the battery it begins running, running, running. So until the battery runs out, it will be running. 
So in the same way, since the second sub-moment of our uh, of that first consciousness in our life, the process of aging goes on and on and on, never stopping anywhere. We think that we are old or we are getting old. Only when we are about 60 or 70, we say you getting old, you over 60, you over 70. But actually at every moment in our life, even in our childhood, we are getting older and older. As a child, we say, oh, this one is growing. We also talk about growing into a man or growing into a woman and so on. Actually, that growing is aging. So the child ages from second to second, or even from moment to moment. All age is not when we get to 50 or 60 or 70. Aging came with us, with our jati, with our birth, so it is inevitable. And now why we so scared about aging? Why we not like aging? We don't like aging because of the ill effect of getting old. When we get older, our parts of the body are not as strong as they were before. The body becomes become loose and we don't see as clear as we did before. So we have to put on glasses or our hearing is impaired. So we have to use hearing aids or our hair turns gray and some don't like it. So they dye it, they dye their hair and some people get some side effects from their hair. So there are a lot of, a lot that are undesirable that comes with aging. When we get older, we lose youthfulness. We are no longer youthful when we get older. And we are not as strong as we were before. And we tend to forget many things as, as we grow uh, older. So that is common to everybody. We do not remember things as much as we did when we were young. We tend to forget this or that. Maybe it, there is a little bit of Alzheimer's disease. There are many things connected with aging which are disdainful to us, which we dislike. Not only that, when we get older, some younger people don't want to be with us. They may say this old man do very slow. This old woman is blocking my way or is in interfering with my activities and so on. 
So old people are more and more put aside and let out. So they become more and more lonely. There is also an ill effect of aging. Then there is something called dotish. When people get old, some people become like children. There is also a kind of suffering. There are many undesirable conditions that are connected with uh, aging. Because of them, people don't like to get older. Although they don't want to get older, they are getting older day by day. Nowadays, there are people who are saying or who are writing that you can turn back the process of aging. But aging is a natural process that cannot be reversed, that cannot be avoided. It comes with life, it comes with jati. As soon as we take jati, we take rebirth, we have to accept that aging, sickness and death. So if we have jati, if we have life, we have aging. We cannot turn away from aging. We have to live with aging. What is the Buddhist attitude towards aging? Jara, who had taught his disciple, monks as well as lay people, to reflect on five things constantly or every day. One of them is Jara, aging. Buddha said, you have to reflect in this way. Jara damomi, jara anadito. Jara damomi, jara anadito. That means I am of the nature of getting old. I cannot get beyond this getting old. I cannot escape aging. So you have, we have to reflect in this way. There are five things constantly to reflect. So regarding Jara, so we have to reflect uh, according to the Buddha teaching. Can you follow me? I'm of the nature of getting old. I'm of the nature of getting old. I cannot get beyond this getting old. I cannot escape aging. I'm of the nature of getting old. I cannot get beyond this getting old. I cannot escape old age. So five things, Jara, um, Bhyadi, uh, sickness and death. So we have to, we cannot escape aging, sickness, and death because we have, uh, we already accepted jati life. So we have to reflect upon it again and again every day. Buddha said, that is Buddha's advice. And Buddha said, why do you have to reflect on this old age? Because if you do not reflect this way, 
that you will get old or you have the nature of getting old. You have the nature of getting old, then you are proud of your youthfulness. Through pride in your youthfulness, you may do something worse or you may do something bad. Such, such agusala and wholesome deeds will lead you to uh, be reborn in the woeful states, lower states. So in order to get rid of this vain pride and youthfulness, we have to reflect on aging jara. That means we must look at aging objectively just as it is, not going around it. It is an in, inevitable fact that we will become old. And so we have to accept it. In other words, reflecting on aging this way is actually accepting it. Once we can accept it, it will not bother us. We know that this is an inevitable reality so long as we have these five aggregates. We have this Namarupa, mind and body. When we have five aggregates, when we have this mind and matter, we will have old age along with them. And one thing was about aging is that it leads to marana, death. It does not remain just aging. Aging carry us a little by a little, day by day towards death. At the end, we meet death, we will be dead. So when the five aggregates are no longer able to function, no longer able to survive, then we meet death, we die. The physical body as well as the mental faculty becomes so weak that they just die out. And that is the moment when we meet death. So aging is not just aging, it is dragging us towards death at every moment, day by day, hour by hour, second by second. That is why aging is dreadful. Once Buddha said that, just as a cowherd drive his cows or drive his cattle towards the pasture, so aging is driving us towards death. Because of this old age, death will come one day and there is no escape from death either. So bad as it is, we can use this old age as a springboard for doing something beneficial to us or even to get rid of this aging, but not in this life. In this life, we have no other things that we can do. There is nothing we can do about this 
aging. But we can do something that is practice meditation so that we can we get free from aging in the future. So in this way, we can use aging as a starting point for our practice for getting out of this rounds of rebirth, rounds of suffering. Our Bodhisattva was steep in sensual pleasures for 13 years as a prince. It is said that during these 13 years, he was not aware of jati, rebirth, injara, aging, and marana, death. He was not aware of a, a rebirth, aging, and death. But one day when Bodhisattva, the prince, went to his pleasure garden, he saw an old man. It dawned upon him that there is old age and nobody can escape old age. He will become old one day and his father so Dodana king we become old one day and so on seeing old age as a reality which cannot be escaped he resolved to do something to get out of this process of old age that is to renounce the world and to practice meditation so as to get rid of mental defilements altogether. So in this way, we can use old age as a prompt to do something good for us. And also considering on old age, we can say, admonish ourselves that we are going to get old one day before we get old, before we become very weak. We should do meditorial this now. We should practice meditation now. So we can encourage ourselves or we can admonish ourselves to practice meditation and to get uh, rid of this old age. So when we say to get rid of old age, we also mean to get rid of uh, life itself and also to get rid of jati, rebirth. Because so long as there is jati, so long as there is rebirth, there is jara aging. So if we do not want old age, we must not want rebirth also. And if we say we want to be reborn as the devas or we want to be reborn as a very high class of human beings. But we don't want, we don't want old age. It is impossible. We will be wishing for what we want, we cannot get. It is impossible. If we do not want old age, we must not want the five aggregates of mind and matter. So they, this is what we must understand. So most people think of the 
liberation as something you will be reborn as someone or you will be reborn as something and then you will live forever that is impossible once there is a rebirth there is jadi once there is the beginning there must be middle and there must be an end if we do not want the end we must not want the middle and we must not want the beginning that is the Buddha's method of getting out of jadi getting out of rebirth aging and death So the correct the correct approach to the aging is seeing it as a reality, see it as an inevitable fact in this life, and using it as a supreme board. We should practice meditation so that we can get rid of the mental defilements altogether. Mental defilements which will cause the arising of future lives. According to the Buddha, if we want to beat Jara old age, we must accept it and then we must practice meditation although we will be getting older and older when we are practicing meditation also we are getting closer and closer to a state where we can beat old age where we can get rid of mental defilements altogether so that there is no more rebirth for us. When there is no more rebirth, there is no more aging and death. So the only way to get out of old age or to get rid of old age is to practice Satipatthana meditation, now you are practicing because other means are just illusion or something like that. So the best thing to do about aging is uh, to accept it and not to feel too much worry about aging. Yes, there is aging and I accept it. And then I will do what I can to get out of this uh, suffering, samsara, so that I do not have aging anymore. So because fighting with aging or trying to beat old age is a old age in other ways is just trying the impossible. So our attitude towards old age should be accepting it and not feeling bad about getting old. Sometimes feeling bad about getting old is worse than getting old. You feel bad about getting old and you are scared, it makes you more miserable. But if you accept it, reflecting, yes, you are here, I will accept it, I cannot run away from it, from you then you are peaceful and you can deal with aging.
and Boda pointed out to us that the only way to beat not only aging but rebirth, death, sorrow, lamentation, and suffering is to get rid of mental defilements. So to get rid of mental defilements, we need to see the true nature of things, true nature of the psychophysical phenomena. Unless we see the true nature of Namarupa, Mayanameda, or five aggregates, we cannot get rid of mental defilements. We will always be attached to one thing or the other. So we need to see the true nature of these phenomena so that we get weary with those things. We want to get out of it and if we try to try and make effort, we all be, we always be successful. So it is important to see the true nature of Nama and Rupa, that is to see these phenomena as impermanence, suffering and non-soul. In order to see this Bainameda as impermanence, suffering and non-soul, you all are practicing meditation, you practice mindfulness meditation, only through mindfulness meditation, we can hope to see the true nature of these phenomena. First, we must, we first, we practice mindfulness and along with the mindfulness, we get concentration and that is clarity of mind and stainless of mind. Once mind becomes still and clear, we begin to see the true nature of these phenomena. So we arrive back to the basic practice, which is mindfulness. Very uh, precious and very fortunate to to have a chance to practice. So if we practice mindfulness, if we diligently stick to this practice of mindfulness, you all will one day be able to beat not only aging, but also rebirth, disease, and death. You will be liberated from all the suffering. That means you all will be able to get out of samsara, the rounds of rebirth. So we have to stop our discourse for today. We will continue uh, tomorrow by practicing vipassana meditation, by observing every phenomena occurring at the six and those, by diligently stick to this practice mindfulness and may all yogis be able to beat aging, sickness and death, sorrow, lamentation, etc. May all yogis realize the real peace in the very near future. So.